put this thing on the side without breaking it. Is he crying or is he in the Mexican mafia that he has a teardrop tattoo? I can't quite figure that out. This is a schnabel car. Schnabel car. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. a beautiful box. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. weird that they, it, it looks like it says Carrie instead of Carl. <laughs> I actually, I put Carrie on my Instagram. Someone's like, it's not Carrie, it's Carl. I'm like, yeah. Well, sh I thought I was an eye. Don't blame man. me, yeah. Chris, you can interfere and, and laugh and talk with us. Like, yeah, please do. Yeah. We're just, we, I never know what I'm talking about in these things. <laughs> Neither do I, really. Can you imagine dropping <laughs> Are we going? I don't know how to drop this thing, man. You'd have to lift one side, I have to lift the other side. Okay, to, like, yeah, it'll be a, yeah. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Prick Me Up, Scotty Bemis. I'm Scotty Hoy, and we're back with your favorite person, Sean. Actually, you're my favorite person, so I don't. No, you're I my get favorite confused. person, man. Oh, that's so the sweet. The fans love you, man. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. And we're back. We're here to look at some something crazy. Yes. This thing is absolutely amazing. If you haven't watched our Dora the Explorer video, hey, that was a. <laughs> Crazy tank. It was actually fun to put together. Yes. It wasn't perfect. The rail gun. Well, no, because see, rail guns are. Never mind. Uh, yeah, but it was a, uh, an artillery piece that that was transported and and operated from rails. This one is kind of like the same idea, right? Right. But this is from another brand. Yes. And they will, in fact, release the Dora in the future. Oh, okay. So I'm probably gonna have to get that one to review for you guys as well. Okay. Screw it. Let's just look at this thing. Okay. This is Pandos Bricks. Carl Carronade, not Carrie. I don't know why they did that with the L. Sweet Carronade. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. 628008. 4,151 pieces, or as we will find out later, perhaps fewer. For ages six and up. And up, yes. So here's the box. Yes. It says super huge. Yes, because remember, the Nazis were size queens. Just like you were. Thanks. Well, there you go. You gotta have goals. Anyway, there's the front of the box. It's a beautiful box. Yeah, it's very Looks nice. good. With a carry handle. There, and then we'll look at the back here. Aha. Uh -huh. There's the back of the box, show you some details, but we're gonna look at all the details anyway. Yeah, nice box, man. It says last World War II heavy carry. Yes. And then inside they have some inner boxes, which is actually kind of cool. I wonder if they mean it's the last carronade or the last World War. I don't know, who knows? This uh -huh. is more like a silhou silhouette. Oh, very nice. Perfect, Thank you, Chris. yes. There you go. Yeah. Which doesn't, it's what not nice really his fault. Yeah. yeah, it's very yeah. nice looking. Six year old will love this thing. Definitely. Here's the book. It's sizable nice. as well. All over 4,000 yeah, Easy, something. easy to read. Yeah. Now the thing is like, okay, two of these sets are out. They're taking a long time to release these sets, right? Okay. So if I flip it to the back here, All right. the bomber and the train, which I'm gonna show you there. Yes. It's the one I think Everybody is waiting for. Probably, yes. You know, I want the bomber. I think I think it'll be huge. Yes. And the train actually looks pretty cool. And then just the Dora, mm. which we'll have to see if that one is better than the Kazi one. That would be nice. Okay, and then if I open it, just I'll pick a page here. Totally fine, easy to read, easy to build, but as you can see from the colors of the thing itself, yeah, it's all the same color, man. Like, well, it's supposed to be. Gets very, very repetitive when you're building this thing. So here it is, Sean. Yeah. No, it's very nice, actually. Wow. Yeah. I like the, typically they printed a lot of detail, like the rivets here. Yeah, which reminds me, this thing is all prints. Okay. No stickers. Nice. And right now it is all connected together in three parts. One, right. two, three. And they're on the track here. Yes. Now it's, the end, the end pieces are actually on the track. But the one, this piece here in the middle, it doesn't. It's like, it's, yeah, it's kind of right. got, it's lifted, so it's, they're cheating, so the tracks aren't really that. Well, no, they're the not. The tracks aren't touching the tracks. They're that not, that's sense. not cheating, that was intentional. Because okay. this, uh, unlike Dora, uh, this thing didn't actually operate from the tracks. So this was actually designed as a way to transport the, the weapon, the oh. device, if you will, across uh, long distances. Oh, okay. This thing actually, it has the tracks because it would, drive to where it was going to fire, not usually not very late, it would only go about six miles an hour. And then the tracks were actually used to pivot to wow. get your, your correct angle. So this, this as it is now, is uh, set up for transportation. Shall we pivot this for Chris? So we can just turn the whole yeah, thing? Sure. Chris, we're going to rotate so you can see the, hopefully it doesn't fall off this table. This thing is freaking long, man. Ooh. I'm just going to point it towards Chris so he can kind of just there see. We go. So you get an idea of, yes. How long this thing is? <laughs> it's already touching my tummy, man. 
I just slide it forward there. Oh, okay. it's gonna flip off the table. No, no, I got it. That's crazy though, right? <laughs> yeah. Chris has a big smile on his face. It's he ridiculous. As for build, this thing was perfectly fine. Like, nice. I had zero issues with it. Good. There may have been a couple missing pieces, a couple loose pieces, like mm -hmm. the wheels down there below, like the rim parts kept popping off. Okay. But I was actually pretty happy. As I mentioned, it gets super, super repetitive. So the good thing is you're building one side first. Right. And then it kind of breaks up by building the middle part. Right. And then you come back to build this part. Right. Because so. these these are, are mirrors, aren't they? They're, 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 they're mirrors essentially they're slightly, identical. slightly different okay. the way it connects together. All right. And of course, you got this part, which is, yeah. you know, it's winter right now. So That's it's what, like a flaccid version of the door. Right. It's just, it's cold. It's, you know, maybe it went swimming. Who knows? The door, the door is like your size. Yes. And this is like my size. Now, now also... <laughs> Lord, uh, so I'm, I hope your children are enjoying this while they watch this. Six years old, aren't right? Sure, and they're you asking questions that by that, now. Daddy, why are you laughing? Whatever. Actually, there is a, an actual historical reason for the difference okay. in, in, in that. And that is that basically this is a what's called a mortar uh, in German, Morser. Okay, so it's like... Yes, mortars are those things where you see in the war in, in the war movies. They're sort of these short tubes that sit on the ground, and the guy will hold it and then drop the thing in, and it makes that funny tum noise. Mortar rounds don't actually whistle when they before they land, which is one of the reasons they're so effective. Uh -huh. Again, the German, the Nazis, being size queens, thought, "What if we make it bigger?" And so they did. Uh, this is also what's known as a siege mortar. Now, it was originally designed uh, because the French had built the Maginot Line to try and, and resist what they assumed would be another German invasion, which of course came true. And the Germans thought, well, how are we gonna punch through these massive concrete defenses that the French had built for an incredible amount of money only to abandon later, but that's not my story. So they they figured something like this would be able to, kind of like, uh, what's it, the Moab, mother of all bombs, or oh, okay. the, the delayed munitions. The idea being that it would sort the of go into the, yes, they would go into the ground and then detonate. So Crazy. this thing is designed specifically for that. Didn't get used at the Maginot Line. Did get uh, used the Battle of Sevastopol. Okay, so this thing really did exist. Yes, it did exist. There it was like a modified. It looks like a modified, hyped up thing that I didn't yeah. realize really exists. But yeah, no, it it really did. They, it, but that's also the Germans. I mentioned that in the other one. They, the Germans didn't have the ability to produce a lot of stuff. So in their concept, it was, we should make it bigger or better. And this obviously went with bigger, but it did actually get used. Um, the Battle of the Bulge, it was used uh, during the Battle of Remagen in Crazy. an attempt to destroy the bridge, was used against the Warsaw Uprising. There were, as I said, about six of them. I think the seventh was just for testing. One of them still exists today in what is now Russia, but the rest were scrapped. But wow. yeah, it's a real thing. Crazy. Yeah. This thing is in three sections. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do is take it apart. We'll just talk All about right. each part of this thing. <laughs> so these two do mirror each other, but they are connected differently. Mm. So this one is connected by a Technic piece. So I have to kind of like slide it without breaking this thing apart. There we go. We'll push this out here and slide this here. So I'm gonna remove this in the front. So this piece here actually comes, if you don't want to put anything connected, you can slide this up. Yeah. So you take this piece off okay. here. And then you can replace it with this to cover back up here. Oh, very nice. So you have a, the hatch right, back on there. Right, because otherwise the rain would get in and get rusty. And then this side here is actually connected by these little poles. You have to just slide it. It slides out right. easy, thank goodness. And then you have to lift it just a little bit like that. Okay. And then, and then it slides, okay. Yeah, but this popped off a little bit there. And then it right. slides out. Yes. A little bit like that. There we go. So now, yeah, because it, this thing, if you just drop this thing onto the tracks, it would mush it. It would it would destroy the tracks, and then you'd have problems, you know. Comes with the tracks. Very nice. You know, there's a lot here to put together. I'm like, oh, yeah, you, you want to be careful carrying this around, so. Yeah. You know. Okay, these two pieces. Let's just look at one right now. So they're both the same, except for how the connection pieces were put together. This is what you just mentioned, right? This just holds that center piece. Is that how it works? Yes. You would leave them on the tracks. This, what they would have to do is prepare a firing area. Uh, okay. Would have to be very level. Fill in any of the soft spots, things of that nature. So they would get it as close as they could on the rail. Then these things, as I said, each would kind of go out this way. They drop the thing down. It would putter off to where it was being used, and then when they wanted to transport it, it would have to come back. Oh, okay, I see. You do have to be a little bit careful because the thing hangs out, right? So it's like, yeah, got a little bit of weight there. Had a lot of 
Griebling. Chris, that's a new word for you, Griebling. Griebling. Griebling is like all the little details on the side. Yeah. That side is slightly different from this side. There's, also, there's a little step right there. Okay. When you're putting it together, totally fine to, to put on, but when you're applying pressure, sometimes parts might want to pop off because there's a lot of times when you have to like push up and in. So you do have to be a little bit more gentle when you're yes. putting be things together. Be gentle with the Griebling. Be gentle with this thing, you know? But the, the, it's pretty secure. Yeah. And even these parts, I was like, oh man, this is going to be like the Kazi Dora, like it's going to just fall everywhere. Totally fine. I absolutely love how it's all prints on yeah. the top there. Very nice. And they don't show that in the manual. Like some of it is blank. So I'm like, am I supposed to use the printed piece here or here? I don't know if I have it right or wrong. I'll just show you underneath here. They actually have like gears in between the wheels. They don't do anything, but. Nice. Yeah, it looks nice. Maybe it was, maybe you can put a motor on this. I don't know. I'll be crazy if we do that. Yeah. So there's one container here. If we open this up, look inside. All right. We have some tools. Yes. Your paint roller. Oh. I don't know why a paint roller. Spray can, drill. Hammer, I just like the usual things that they include with yeah. like other sets. We well, have one yeah. compartment there. This part can actually rotate. Is it supposed to like? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. That this part, when, oh, they, so when like, it was hung between these two, they would well, we stop it. wherever it was. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Now, here's, here's something. How big was this? They actually had to use uh, modified Panzer IV tanks to carry ammunition. They were called ammun ammunition schlepper. Schlepper. Yeah. It would schlep the ammunition. Ooh, yeah. So okay, this thing will. Yeah, it will. Yeah, but don't it rotates, be careful. You know. But yes, that was the whole thing: is that they would essentially free these up and rotate, and then bring the cars closer together. Crazy. And that way, you could then drop the the uh, the car onto the ground. Wow. So that again, when you wanted to pick it back up, they had to basically reverse the process. The thing that that's hard to really get a feel for is how much time and effort things like this or the Dora in real life, like all the stuff that they would have to go through. For example, this thing, the only way to reload it was to drop it down level. And then you have, so every time you would get it set for the exact distance you wanted, you'd have to, you know, write it down or something. Right. But it, it was just very time consuming. However, considering the size of the ordinance, it almost makes up for it. But no issues with this. I said the back here, like these bumper things can come off pretty but, easy yeah. if, because they're sticking out, right? Right. So, as we mentioned, it is mirroring this piece. Right. Same deal, all prints. Even these little pieces, these squares have prints on them. Yeah. This one is just only different that it has the connecting piece. Right. There. And then this one also has a little box. This printed here, by the way, the hatch. Yeah, very nice. Different and tools. Different. Okay, what do we have here? Just like re more wrenches and like the... Oh, okay, yeah. You know, I guess you could use those for weapons too. Yeah. Put weapons in there instead, it'd be more fun. If you guys order from our store, which is available by the way, brickmeupscotty.com. Nice. You know, Sean will put extra weapons inside your package for you. <laughs> That's not a euphemism. Then we come to the main section. I have a question. What's, what's underneath? Why, aren't, why isn't it on the treads? Well, that's what I started telling you. That's, that's why I was sliding on the track because right. it, the track wasn't touching the track. So underneath, I'm not sure if you can see that. I don't want to flip this whole thing because parts will move. There's two pieces where my finger is. Right. right? Yeah. Yeah. Those are actually going on the track. Yes. They, they, I'm not sure. They may have actually done that in real life. It would make more sense because otherwise these things are going to be bouncing around. <clears throat> so yes. You could actually take those off. So yes, I, I would say, yeah, I would suggest that. There, one. Heinz Vi. All right. Whether yes. this thing rolls good or not, I, I, it, yeah, actually you can see it. This side rolls better here. I'll show the tank here. It's too smooth here, but yeah, you can see it rolls. Uh, oh no, something flew off. What was that? So the only real issues that I had, and that's like nitpicking, but some of these rim pieces will pop out on you, or they were loose for me. And other than that, it's totally fine. There's actually a lot of detail on this one, uh, and I was really happy with that. First of all, this piece, the motor. The mortar, yes. Yeah, it goes up and down. Now, right now, it is loose. I didn't push it down, so we can take this off easier. All right. I guess this part here, it's a loaded? Uh, I would assume so, yes. There's nothing to load on the back. There it goes. Yeah. Although, I th probably there, it would be, yeah. You want because it faster? The, the, the thing with, you actually, it, it's not like a shell. 
uh, like you have for Dora. You would actually put the the round in it, but then you could decide like the way that you operated the range was by how much propellant you put in. Okay, so, so, so I'm gonna interrupt you there. There's a green right. thing right there. Yes. Is that the round? It there would appear go. so. Yeah, I would I would assume it probably would want to load from the front. Like that. Oh. And then you would place the because the round itself doesn't have the um, <clears throat> no, it doesn't look like a bullet. And then you as I said, you would place the propellant underneath, depending on the ri- now my mind's going in a totally different place right now. I'm really sorry. <laughs> is your doggy happy to see you? Yeah, to- you just need to make this pink. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But this round has got a print on there. It says yes. glor- glorious. Glorious. Well, of course, yeah. Glorious. Sure, well, that's know. cool though. The round actually, I didn't try that for the first time, but the round fits in the back and it fits in the front. It's not gonna do you much good if it doesn't fit. There's actually a wheel here to turn this thing up and down. Mm. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's just easier to use your hand to go like that or else. This thing might pop but up that is nice. Time. That's a cool elevation. Cool, cool little feature there. <clears throat> yeah. Oh look. It, oh no. It, Did you just break it? These are all printed down here as well. Uh, Sweet. You know these. Some of these might just pop off on you. And this, I was missing one little piece. And I like this, but this does pop off. It's just like to cover up this big thing that holds the tracks down. Right. This piece does come off. Um, I think you can actually press it down a lot tighter if you wanted to and it right. would hold in there, but I just didn't want to have to force it on and off. There's a better idea. It's empty inside. Yeah. But there are some little things here. Let's see if I can remember. Again, with the greebling, the rails, everything secure, right? I mean, yeah, yeah it's look very, at it. yeah, it's very. This is not like whoops. our T92. I'm sorry. Uh, but there's a reason for that. Okay. So Sean just found a secret. Aha. So yeah, a lot of little cool details, more prints along the top. The hatch is there and it's a little. I don't know what that is. Like I would assume that's the ventilation, for, ventilation. For, the, for the engine. So you take this out here. Yes. There's the engine. Yay. Another, another odd thing, most of the war, these things were actually gasoline engines instead of diesel. Okay. Uh, which is because diesel won't uh, explode as easily as gasoline. Very cool. I thought yes. this part was actually really awesome. I think this can actually come out. Yeah, probably. Oh, here we go. There, there you go. go. That's an engine. Now oh, that's an engine. Yeah, it's very nice. All prints again. Yeah. That made me smile. I'm like, yeah. Very nice. They've stepped up their game. Yes. This back here, there's a there's a picket axe. The hatch part does pop open. Boom. Yes. And there's for doing smaller little maintenance. Yeah. Computer screen well, I don't thing know there. Computer or dials and dials yeah. and gauges. And then you can kind of see. Wow. There's more gauges and little joysticks and little yes, details. Exactly. That stuff was like, yo, that was actually really cool, man. Like, I really enjoyed that. Like, they put some effort into it. They didn't make it empty and be like, ah, oh, this won't yeah, open this, up. Yeah, that's the And then can't come out, all that stuff. No, it all <clears> comes <throat> out together. And then we have this side here. I kept pulling this part out earlier because it does intentionally come out. So you lift up yeah. the two ladders. I like how it has the little ladders here. Mm. And then you can take out this piece. Oh, and inside. And you have more tools here, by the way. It had tons of okay. tools. Really good. good. Yeah. More rounds. Yeah. Ah, glorious, glorious rounds. The thing that I, I'm enjoying about this is, as you say, the fact that it's, it's 98% of it is very sturdy. Because that always frustrates me when we do these things, that some of these, these you can't even look at them sideways or they'll fall apart. Right. So we put this back here. All right. And you take this piece off. Which is another really nice printed piece there. It's just really cool. Ah, there it is. Ah, Aha. that's where you drive this thing. All right. One single seat. Yes. That's it. Yeah. Two well, joysticks. It doesn't really. Is it? I think this, oh, I assume that's where you drive the thing. Yeah, forward and back, most likely. Because again, this wasn't designed to be driven long distances. The whole idea was to get it to where it had the, the firing pad and then just simply rotate it for the whatever angle you needed. So as you can see, it's all back together. Like hardly anything has fallen apart on this thing. Yeah. Only the things that were intended to fall came off, fell off. There's a little bit more little details here along the front, those red thingies. I don't know what those are supposed to be. It is like more little details added onto the tank. Could be fire extinguishers. Or more little rails here as well. Mm. And of course the set comes with figures. Unfortunately for me, I forgot their helmets and their arms. But we can still talk about it. And Chris, 
we'll shoot the close up later. So right. I'll make sure I'll bring the helmets in next time. But you can. Oh, you forgot them, or I forgot them in the office. I thought you meant they forgot them in the box. You know, I don't know. I have to double check because I didn't see them. So maybe they did forget it. Okay. But anyway, we can kind of show you guys here. Okay. The armless. The the apparently, armless. apparently, there was an ammunition mishap. These are all the guys that were injured. This thing comes with tons of weapons, Sean. It certainly does. Yeah. No, it, it's just the interesting thing we talked about last time, where some of these are very accurate historically, and some of them there's no reason for them to be here. Like, okay, this one is the M1 Garand, which is the American service rifle. Uh, the Car 98 sniper variant, which is a German rifle, and then the M1 carbine paratrooper variant, which is an American. There's, there's a Bren gun, a big Chinese sword. Yeah, man, I and, like that Chinese <clears throat> sword. Yeah, uh, an old school bayonet. I guess that's an MP40, so it's German. The MG, uh, let's call it a 34 because it's not squared off. And the Mauser, so these are, okay, these are German, these Sort of, well, one third of it is. Right, there's a potato masher, so there's there's a little, it's just confusing. And then more tools, because you got to have more tools. Yeah, those are actually pretty cool, man. Yeah, I like the actually, act. tools and an American grenade and a and, uh, wire heck? cutter. And, and a British Piat anti tank round. Who knew why they would do these things? But yeah, this so it's it's an interesting selection, if you will. Not necessarily accurate, but eh, so what? Right, it's fun. So here are the set figures, and they're kind of like grouped together. So we're gonna just do these in, in pairs. Yeah. Okay. The, this would be. I'm assuming this is sort of your officer and/or senior enlisted person, um, who obviously has has been around and seen quite a bit, judging by his decorations. But this, it's really nice. The level of detail that you get. This yeah, would be course, incredibly yeah. hard to do, you know, on your own. And then these guys, as you say, these guys are pretty similar. It's hard to tell without arms. But on. they got a lot of patches, like uh, pockets. Yes, exactly. Which I'm not sure is is necessarily accurate. But again, it looks nice. That's the important thing. They're, this isn't square. They actually rounded these corners a bit. Which oh, is they, really... they had to. Oh. It's, a, it's, a, it's a copyright thing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, no, I actually prefer this. This is nice. Some people say it looks like their ass is in the front. Yeah, it kind of, yeah. So these yeah, two guys we'll just look the assume, same yeah. with the middles there. Yes, and this guy's but, upset for some reason. Yeah, I'm not really sure that this is a historically accurate mustache, but who am I to talk? The middles are different colors and then Yes, different and the positions. rank is different. But the, again, That's the level crazy. of detail on this, just really impressive. Yeah, they didn't have to do that. They could have repeat, repeated the whole thing. And yeah, they could totally fine. Exactly. Very, Very nice. Cool. I like it. Okay, for dimensions, it's kind of roughly like this to visually see that we have four and a half base plates. So this thing is around 136 by... So I give it like 18. 18, okay. 16 he 18. here, but 16. I would give it 18 for the actual unit. Well, you guys can visually see how yeah. monstrous this thing is. Of course, it's for so the height, big. I put the mortar straight up, and that is around 22 bricks. In height, here, let me show it this way. Yeah. It's more or less there, you know? It's probably gonna be a lot lower if you go like that. Yeah. Oh! All right, video is done. It's time to drop these things. I did not have Sean come back. It's the week of Christmas. I'm sure he's busy. We're all busy. I'm just in here real quick today to drop this thing for you guys. We'll see how this survives. I think it's going to collapse everywhere, especially these two pieces. So let's try this. Let's do this. Yo, this one was super solid. Only bits and pieces that were supposed to come off came off. So I'm happy for this part. Sean would probably be disgusted right now. The other parts, yeah, 
you know, it's got loose pieces here and there, but it's like I said, it's kind of top heavy or sticks out. So I'm pretty sure it's easy to put back together. And am I gonna put this back together? No, this would probably be one that's going up for sale. If you want it, email Ida right now. Buy it for me. Go, go, go. So there you guys go. The Kari Caronade. Carl. 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 Damn, come wrong. Carl. 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 So thank you so much for Sean for coming down. It was fun. I always enjoy doing these things. This is fun. And don't forget you can buy the set on my store or yes, anywhere else. But that would be good. Brickmeupscotty.com. Yes. I, I'll be sure I to, would recommend this one. Yeah, and I'll, I'll be sure to throw in extra soldiers for you guys. Yeah. Maybe I'll change it up with some SWAT guys inside to modern this thing up a little bit. Sure. But awesome. Totally no issues. And this was such a fun build, man. Good. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. So Please. This guy back in here in the office more often. Yeah. All right, cool. I enjoy it. So until next time. Brick me up, Scotty. They will fire this thing up like a. But it would actually more. Like, ah! Oh, it killed me. <laughs> I'm, just, this is, I'm trying to stay in shape, man. This is my new fit watch thingy. Oh, that dude, what is, and what is it telling you? Give me all my messages from my phone. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, so we don't have to talk about the whole thing. Let me. <clears throat> take it out <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know why it's doing that. It's disgusting, and I apologize. No, no, no it's, it's probably our room, man.